Welcome back to video eight of the Don't Die with the Music Left Inside of Your series. Video eight, it's a short one and a good one. There's two things you're going to have to become to not die with the music inside of you. Number one is a really great leader. So last week I was doing a corporate event with Chick-fil-A Lots of Chick-fil-A leaders. I gave them all the DLI sheet on the 10 characteristics of a great leader and we got hundreds and hundreds of different answers. Guess what? Nobody's definitions were wrong and nobody's definitions were necessarily right. They were just everybody's definitions of what it meant to be a great leader. So you've got to lead yourself in your own life. So take out a sheet of paper, Write out the 10 characteristics of a great leader. Write out your eulogy and start living up to those characteristics each and every day because you've got to lead yourself to your dreams. And remember as well, if you are a leader out there, and by the way, I have to tell you, I'm pretty blunt about it. There are very few leaders worth following right now. Basically, none of the politicians of the world are worth following because they don't accept responsibility. And great leaders always accept responsibility. And they don't pass the buck. It's like leadership 101. Dwight Eisenhower, D-Day, he wrote two letters. One, in the event it was a success, he gave away all the credit to the troops and the support staff. Letter B, if the mission had failed, Dwight took full responsibility. Do not listen to people who don't take responsibility for their own lives and don't listen to people who are slovenly and can't lead themselves because if they actually believed what they said, they would be doing it. One of the great addictions in this world is an addiction to power. Don't ever forget it. So write out your definition of being a great leader, write out your eulogy, and live up to those characteristics each and every day. And also, don't forget, the two greatest leaders ever, Jesus, Buddha, they didn't need to control anybody, and they didn't need to have power over anybody, because those are loser characteristics. Those are the characteristics of a great loser who is scared of feeling pain. The greatest leaders of the world simply see themselves as teachers. That's it. Please hit like, subscribe, and share.